Bradford. <laughs> um, when you came into Park Ferme, sorry, Winners Enclosure, looked like you were you were gesticulating, I think is the right word, to the team, that you probably potentially weren't happy with that bike. In terms of the race, how was it for you? Was it all right, or were you struggling a little bit? Yeah, it was all right. We just we struggled a wee bit with the bike this week, and these two lads, I knew you right, they was just... We weren't on the on the stock, we weren't on this pace they were having all week, so we knew we struggled. We made a, a big change with the bike, and I don't think we've got all in all out the power that we, we should have to, to compete with these boys. But you have to have everything out of the bike on the day to, to compete with any of these boys, and we just hadn't got it today. Did you get enough out, enough out of yourself? I, I felt alright, I feel like I'm riding alright, I feel like I'm steady enough. It's just, uh, I just, I don't think the bike is it's tough work, I must say. and sort of proves out when you're the first one home over the factory team so it's, we think we're all struggling a little bit with it <laughs> any changes you can make for the for the following race uh, I could, um, we'll just look and check and the boys will do what they can the bike never missed a beat obviously and uh, it was good that way it's just trying to get this daily set up in and uh, as i said uh, just finish it off yeah Pete. hello hi mate you all right yeah i'm all right yeah for somebody who's first loser i'm all right yeah I can see his first loser, but bloody hell. It was a close race. Yeah, really close, you know. It was um, great for us fans. I felt, I felt good, to be quite honest. I got, got away all right. I was I was fairly strong in the first sector, which is not usual for me. And, uh, yeah, I kind of felt like I was getting myself into the race pretty good. Um, I rushed the pit stop a little bit and, um, and cost ourselves a couple of seconds in the pit stop. And what did we lose the race by? 2.2. 2.2, yeah. Yeah, high deal. Um, so, yeah, kind of... Um, <laughs> Maybe I need myself to blame a little bit, but uh, yeah, you know, Davey's been super strong all week. We knew we knew he's been strong, um, you know, and he was due a win, wasn't he? Let's face it. It was only a marathon, <laughs> I think it's fair to say. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad it was a close race. I'm glad, uh, you know, we, we kept him honest at least. And um, we've learned a little bit for tomorrow as well, so we'll come out of the blocks fighting tomorrow and have another go. He definitely put on a show for everyone. Davey Todd. You did all right, mate. You did all right. <laughs> Proud of you. First ever victory with the team. The team were absolutely peaking in the winner's enclosure. That means a lot, not only to yourself, but the whole team as well, doesn't it? Hard work. Yeah, mate, it really does. Um, I, I felt like the team are a family this year. Um, they really do. They're, they're a fantastic team. Um, they do a great job, but they're also like a family to me. They're, they're like a bunch of mates and... Uh, well, we are a bunch of mates now, and uh, just um, getting to go racing with those guys and have their support there, like 110% support all day, every day. Good, um, you know, work through the night, if that, too, for me, and uh, do whatever it takes. And it's nice to get, to, you know, yeah, it's nice to get that first win to, to do him proud, you know. Definitely. And do you think the fact that you've been on that bike and you feel so comfortable and so confident on it on the short circuits? has transferred over here. Is, is it like what Dean Harrison would say, an old pair of slippers, it feels comfortable? Yeah, mate, it does. Um, ever since I first got on the, the stock of BMW M1000RI, it's just, um, I've gelled with it so well. I, I absolutely love the bike and um, it shows because my super bike is pretty much a stocker as well. Um, I, I, I love how it works and, and I honestly want nothing more. Like, I, I couldn't fault the thing. Um, it's just me riding it that I'm still uh, trying to learn and challenge these two guys, uh, the top two guys there is around here, you know, the king of the mountain, the fastest guy around here. It's to, to be on the podium with these two either side of me, it's, uh, it's incredible. This is, this is a, it's a special one. Good. And I don't, know, I don't know where you picked up your last pit board. So the last pit board you got before, the, uh, before you headed into the finish, at one point I think at Ramsey it was down to, was it half a second or point one? I can't quite remember, but it was, there was nothing in it. Did you realise it was that close at that point, or did you not get a pit board till later when the, the gap had kind of opened up again? No, I, had a, I had a pit board about halfway around the last lap with plus zero. So, <laughs> Just what you want. <laughs> but, great stuff, this is, uh, <laughs> this is going to be tough. And uh, I did get told it was Pete in the pit stop um, on, on lap one, so I thought it'd be him challenging. Me, uh, um, me and Pete are both strong in different different areas of the of the track, and to be honest, my strongest sector all week's been uh, from the bungalow down to the to the crunk. 
the second half of the mountain and um, I, I love that section, I've always loved it and uh, I've been really strong there and coming down there and I, I, I knew I could gain a little bit of time there on the last lap and sure enough I caught three people there coming down there on, the, on the last lap and I honestly in my head I thought that was it, I thought I just tried to keep pushing and uh, and keep my head down and come across the line side by side with Michael and we neither of us knew Hickey pulled in uh, to the pit return lane just after me and neither of us knew who won and to be honest in my mind I thought that it was Pete. I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd lost the I'd lost the win and I, I basically come up the pit return road so slowly because I just didn't want to look really and see that <laughs> my guy stood there in second place and when I pulled in and the guys are stood there just um, I can't explain I can't explain the emotion. It Good. was uh, incredible. Well, as much as we should um, let you enjoy it, we can't enjoy it for too long because we're going again in a couple of hours. Yeah, super spot race again. Now this is the problem when people start asking you questions, just like we asked Michael, just like we asked Pete, when's number two coming? But we're not going to, don't worry about it. You enjoy this one, you embrace this one. Everyone make some noise for your podium for the RL 360. Michael Dunlop in third place, Peter Hickman in second, and once again, your first time TT winner, Davey Tom!